Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it's a dark November morning and today we're going to be doing some autumn wildlife photography. I came out nice and early hoping to get the sunrise. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's a very overcast day, which means we won't be seeing the sunrise. It'll all be behind the clouds. However, the trees are orange and so we're going to be blurring out the leaves of the trees in the backgrounds of some wildlife images to hopefully get a nice autumn feel. And we are now on a wooded path. As you can imagine, it's even darker here because we have trees shading out the light. So this video that I've got playing now is not good quality, um, but I have set up the camera and it is recording a blackbird. There's a blackbird foraging in the leaves on the ground. So here is the video again, very high ISO. So it's not good quality. We'll be getting the good quality images and videos when it brightens up. So after finding the initial blackbird, and then as you saw, we found a pigeon in a tree. Um, it was still dark, it's lit up a little bit. Um, and I found this patch, you can see behind me, there's lots of trees, and then there's an orange background. It's much harder to do this autumn photography than I expected, because not only do you have to find the perfect background and a perch for the wildlife, the wildlife then has to come to the perch. And I'm not in my back garden, I'm on a golf course currently, as you can see, and so, the wildlife here does what it wants and I have no way of making it come to this tree. So it's probably going to be quite a long wait, but hopefully we will get at least one photo by the end of this. So I've set up my gear on a tripod. Uh, I'm using the Canon 250D and the Sigma 150-600mm lens, both reviewed on my channel if you want to go see them. I'm also using a KNF tripod, which again is reviewed on the channel. So I'm now going to set up and I'm gonna sit here for about an hour and hopefully some wildlife comes and I can get some good photos. And so we didn't find anything when we sat. We sat for about half an hour, then I got distracted by some geese. I went and took some videos of them. But now I just went on a walk. I'm back on this woody path and Behind me, there is this bush in the middle of the field. And so my camera is set up on the bush and there was a blue tit and he went onto this bush, which has an orange, orangey glow behind it from the trees. And he was just on the edge. I'll show you here. You can see the blue tit up in the top right corner. And he just needed to move down a bit to the left and there would have been a beautiful orange background, but no, he didn't, he flew away. And so now I'm going to wait to see if any more birds come and hopefully we'll be able to get the beautiful orange glow, which we've been waiting for. So there is a great tit on the bush right now, hopping around lower down. So if he moves further up the bush, we might have a chance. Nope. It's just flown off. It's going to take a while. This is a much harder challenge than I thought. It might be the hardest challenge we've done yet on this channel. So if you're new here, we've done challenges like how many birds can I photograph in three hours, as well as challenges like wildlife photography with kit lenses. So if you want to go check those videos out, feel free after this one, but hopefully this video will be successful. Also, if you hadn't noticed, I forgot my microphone stand. Um, normally my microphone would be clipped to my phone, to my camera. Um, today I'm having to hold it because I forgot that stand. So if it's a bit noisy or it's, if there's anything which doesn't sound great. There's probably me just holding the microphone. And we managed to photograph a blackbird on that bush. It was actually quite a good photo. Um, 
The only issue was the blackbird was on the wrong side of the bush, so there's quite a few twigs in front of the blackbird. But it is a blackbird and he is on a bush with an orange background, so we have effectively completed the objective, but not ideally. So I'm going to keep looking and we're going to get something perfect. Also, while we were there, there was quite a surprise. A green woodpecker appeared on a fence. It just flew in, landed on a fence, so I took some photos, but then it flew over to the bush. It didn't go to the edge of the bush, so there's no autumn colours. However, it was still a cool thing to see. So, I am now on a golf course. It's just a path to the golf course, so I'll show you the golf course when we get to it. And there are lots of trees here, which are hopefully beautifully orange. So, we're going to go and hopefully we'll find some beautiful wildlife to photograph with the orange leaves behind. And so we've been on the golf course for a while. So far we've found a robin. Um, I can't remember how blurry, I can't remember how orange the background was, but I reckon there was quite an orange background for the robin. And then there were some long tail tits who didn't have a very orange background at all. It's very hard when doing small birds up in trees, because when you look up into a tree, there's often not an orange tree taller behind it. And you really need some orange behind the subject you're shooting, which means they've got to be low down or you've got to be shooting from an angle where you're above the animal and can shoot down so the trees are then below or the leaves on the ground. Anyway, I can hear a woodpecker. I doubt I'm going to find it because there's a lot of trees behind me. There's a lot of trees here to look through, but there's lots of orange leaves. So we're going to see if we can get some nice photos. And we are now coming to the end of the golf course, but I got another photo of a robin and this time it was definitely an orange background. I saw the robin on the tree and had time to position myself perfectly so the orange was behind the robin and so here are the photos of the robin with the beautiful orange background. So as I say, we are now leaving the golf course. We're going to walk for a small amount along a canal and then we'll be on a farm. And the farm is where I'm hoping to get lots of good photos. I'm currently kneeling down on this path. Um, there's brambles to both sides of this path, meaning that I'm quite hidden. And there's so many birds. Now, the trees above me, I think it's this one behind me here. There's a nice lot of orange on the leaves. So hopefully some birds will go in there but I've already got a photo of a great tit that was on a tree and there's a wren that's also flying around. So hopefully I'll get some good photos. I'm just going to stay here. Now it's a public footpath, so someone may come and scare everything away. There's a blackbird that is on the path just in front of me, rummaging around in the orange leaves. So that will work. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here and see what I can get. And we got a few good photos, but we've come to the end of the walk. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Now, luckily, the leaves are going to stay orange for a few more weeks. So we have a bit more time to get some more photos. Who knows? I may revisit this idea in a week or so. But next week, we will be doing a wildlife walk and we will definitely be seeing some more autumn colours then. So hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.